Hey, Rich and Kathy here. Welcome to the channel. What do we have today, Kath? <laughs> we have hats with neck netting because both Rich and I recently had black fly fever. <laughs> never heard of black fly fever um, we have these little teeny tiny black flies they're not flies like you think they're not a house fly they're not a deer fly they're not a horse fly they're nasty little they're teeny tiny you don't even see them and and they're not gnats that's something else entirely but they bite you they actually slice your skin and they put their whole entire head in there and feed off of you and you gross. don't even know you don't feel it it doesn't hurt like till the next day when it's just brutal. And we were out in the woods clearing ATV, ATV trails the other day. And the next day we woke up and like our necks were just swollen and our lands were swollen. And we had these huge Yeah, it was terrible. Bites. It was so itchy. And, you know, the, these, these, these welts just really swell up a lot. And they, they always like to target your neck and your ears. So, you you know... It's just, a, you look terrible. And, and you feel, feel terrible. Feel terrible. Really, really feel crummy. Um, so we are doing a few things to prevent that today. One of the things is to wear light colors because they like dark colors. So dark colors attract them. So we're both wearing white right. shirts today. Another thing that they don't like is the, the scent of pine or vanilla right. or lavender. So we chose to go with a pine scent. We actually have pine cedar wood blend on because all I had was Christmas tree essential oil and I spilled it on my shirt too. So I kind of ruined my white shirt a little bit. Thanks for reminding me. I didn't do it. You didn't do it yet? No. Oh, okay. You got to put that on. So we're like covering ourselves in pine and cedar wood oil. And believe it or not, that really seems to work pretty good. It's definitely helpful. Uh, but we finally got these in the mail. And these are hats that just have a netting to cover your neck. The bug jackets, and I'll link to that video up here, those are great, those really are, if, if it's cool out. But it's getting into summer now, and it gets pretty hot, and you really sweat a lot, so you really don't want that material on your skin. You, you've gotta wear long It's a little uncomfortable. Yeah, it, it can be. So we thought we'd give these a try. Oh. Yeah, go ahead, Did open it up. Open it I up? wanna open mine, there we go. Oh! <laughs> Did you know it was going to do that? No, how'd you do that? I don't know. Oh. <laughs> That's okay. kind of cool. All right, not so bad. They're really light. They're really lightweight. Is there a front and a back? Oh, there is a front. How do you know? Is this for your mouth? Oh. Oh. Oh, I'm going to put that in the back. That's weird. What is it for? I don't know. I guess maybe to eat or drink through so you don't have to lift your thing. It looks like it's going to get in the way of your seeing. Oh, I look. Do I look as cool as I feel? Actually, they're not terrible. <laughs> it's not that bad. Yeah, no, this, this is just something, just enough to keep the stuff, the, the bugs and everything off your neck. Did you tighten that thing? No, just I tightened this one just okay. to keep the hat on. Oh, I see, okay. I didn't tighten this. This just lays <clears> down <throat> on your neck. I don't feel like my neck is covered. Is it my neck covered? What's this all about, though? Supposed to slice that open? <clears throat> oh, it's not cut. You know what? I'm going to leave mine. I don't even want to open that. Not at all. Yeah, I'm not going to use that. I'm I just put mine in like the this. back. Honey, is my neck covered? Like this. Yeah. Okay. It, look, it looks good. You could do this. That's okay. That's better, right? Yeah. But now the front of my neck isn't covered. It is though. No. Mm. I need it like that. All right. How do I all look? Right. Good. That's good. All right. Well, we're going to give these a try today. This a little bit of uh, essential oils, and uh, we'll be good. And uh, we'll let you know if the black flies bother us or not. Okay, so I was just checking our compass bearing for the direction that we're going. We've reached um, the point where we really can't go any further. All the trail has been marked up to here. So we're pretty much blazing a new trail from this point forward. And we'll be using these little trail markers that we got. I checked the compass. Rich is uh, looking to see which way is best to go. And we'll start clearing. I'll just give you a little look around where we're at. And unfortunately, we disturbed a hornet nest in the ground right there. Richie ran over it with his ATV and they swarmed. 
he got stung. So hopefully he's okay. Stay between those is what you're saying, right? Yeah, I'll sort of define it a little bit better. So you said come right through here, right? These things are weird. Perfect. And this insect repellent from Avon, it has the picaridin in it. This is the best stuff ever. So we basically made it to the top of the mountain. And, well, not the top of the mountain, but a high point. The next the level AT up. Yeah, the next ridge up with the ATVs over there. Um, we took a little break and we went for a hike. And we were able to hike to the pond from here. We saw some logging roads that are nice and maybe need a little bit of clearing, but we just, and we're on a logging road right now, an old logging road. So we just have to get through a little bit of a dense area and, and find a way to the other logging road. We just have to make the connection and we'll move on from there, get to the next step. But these hats, oh my God, thank Great. God we're wearing them. I went to drink my water through it though. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, it's uh. These are definitely lifesaver because the bugs are just oh, buzzing yeah. us constantly. This is definitely, definitely worthwhile. We had to spray some repellent on our arms yep. to avoid those from getting bitten. But we're wearing, no matter how hot it is, we're wearing full pants, jeans. And I have my nice new boots that Richie gave me for my birthday on. We're walking through a field of ferns that's about knee high or a little higher. Could have <laughs> ticks in it though. Yep. You know, that's why we have to wear long pants while we're doing this. But there's no way I'm wearing a long sleeve shirt. Nice. There you go. You know, All right. that log really ain't, the store's not really neat. That little Husqvarna, what'd you just say, Rich? It's probably not meant for a log that size. Yeah, that was a little big for it, but honestly, <laughs> That's the Fun. best saw we ever had. I was trying really hard to make sure I don't get it stuck. It's like the best little trail clearing saw. Yeah, it's been in the dirt a few times too and the chain still feels pretty good though. So. We're almost at our goal location. We've hit the logging road. So we made it to the logging road. We cut across the middle and here we are. So we just have a little <laughs> bit more work to do here. This is our last of the markers that we bought. We had bought two packages of 24 each. We had 48. And I gotta be honest with you, you can't see them very well. You can't see them very well. So we um, have also been supplementing with orange tape. This, and I gotta tell you, Way better. The markers just, to me, don't seem worth the money. 
I mean, I'll link to them below if you're interested because they have a nice little clip. They don't do any damage and they don't leave, uh, I don't know, I guess they could fall off and cause pollution, but these markers are just so much better to see. And you get a roll of tape and it's just gonna last forever and it's so much cheaper. So you can look back down our trail. It looks great. We should get rid of those. We made it. The rock. Well, we made it. There's the big rock. The ATVs are parked behind it on the logging road. There's a nice little fire pit here. Oh and I just want to show you, that's the pond down there. There's very little water in it. It's very, very low, but there is a little bit. Yeah, the pond is very overgrown with stuff right now. But there is definitely potential. It's pretty big. Yeah. Are you okay? Yeah, it's hot. It's hot, and these are actually kind of hot, but they definitely keep the bugs off. Ow! I've been bitten a few times on my arms today, and it's very, very painful. I think they're black fly bites, or horse fly bites, or something. They hurt like crazy. Um, very painful. So that's really the only part of me that got bitten. The price we pay. Yeah. We, we reached our goal. We made it to the rock. We did. We made it. So that's. Uh, what we wanted to do. These very worthwhile. I should say we made an ATV trail all the way to the rock. We yeah. could have always gotten to this big giant rock on foot, but we hiked cut, it several times. We went back and forth this thing a few times looking for the best way to be as flat and uh, you know passable as possible. Least amount of work in our way. It was and a we, challenge. We made it. It was a challenge. We, we tried a couple of different paths. There's a lot of ridge rock that you just can't get up and over. Those little markers that we paid quite a bit of money for, really just totally not worth it. Yeah, just use suck. tape. Uh, no, oh, it's yeah. right there. Oh, look. Oh, there it is. <laughs> it's so much better. Um, blazing ATV trails is definitely a lot of work. Make sure you have plenty of water. The little Husqvarna, this clipper, and some trail markers, and some insect repellent, and a couple of snacks, and these, ha these are, Fantastic, and I gotta tell you, these boots, best thing ever. Also, thank you, honey. You're welcome. Happy birthday, sweetheart. <laughs> so, yeah. thanks for watching. Yep. I'm Kathy. And I'm Rich. And we're creating a simpler life in the Adirondacks. Have a great day.